Okay, so here it is. This is where we're at. The fan problem. Now, here's the fan problem. Here's number six, 600. Uh, Tenshoto SD24 that we did a long time ago. Here's the deal. I have got some really nice fans for this and this. I've got a winterization hatch for that. These two fans are 36 inch dynamic brake fans and this is a problem. As you know, there's a huge fan shortage. You can't really get fans for these. Um, there are some out there. Uh, Precision Scale has some, supposedly, according to when I've checked online, they have some. But I can't get them in time to finish the build. So here's where we're at. Now, let me show you what I have attempted. See that? I'll get you focused in on that. Okay. That's a 36 inch fan. But it's just not good enough. Compared to the two commercial fans I got, this is not going to cut it. It's just, it's not that good. And even if it was good enough, even if I put it on there, you're not going to see fan blades underneath it. Okay. Now, as you can see here, now here's that one fan that I made. This is a 63-inch Dayton Phoenix. All right, they don't make a 63-inch fan yet. This is not for the SD24. It is for the Bachman Plus... Let me grab a shell for you. Let me grab a shell for you. Hey, it's time that I reveal part of my plan that I've been holding off on. Alright. Here's the Bachman Plus. Let's zoom in on them fans. Alright. So... Those are the Bachman Plus. Now, compared to that Spectrum one that I have, they're not that great. They really, they're, they're not great. As you can see, I've already shaved off the dynamic brakes, so there ain't going to be a fan here. What's going to happen is, this is not the one, this is the test bed, but I'm going to end up putting two of the Dayton Phoenix fans here, kind of like that. Okay, so that's all I need. I only need two fans. Their fans are uh, uh, two of them replaces three. So we'll kind of go like that. There'll be two replacing three. That's fine for this one. not fine for that. I've got some decent fans for that. So here's the problem. I mean, if I'm going to replace those fans, I'm going to replace these three with some pretty decent fans. These two got to go. They can't stay like this. Because they will not match in any way, shape, or form. Now, that's not to say the ones I've made are going to match either. But, I'm hoping to get a point. One point for spending seven hours scratch building a fan somewhat like this. Now, what you can't see. Okay, so I cut this. It, this is a uh, three-point star cut this out of some bubble wrap. The housing turned out fine. I 3D printed that. It's just a circle and it will go it's exactly the same size. I may not fit one if I try to do this. But it'll go there. Okay, It's 1.5 millimeters high. It'll go there. And it should be just right for that spot. 
Once I shave off that fan, it won't look like it's so tall. Okay, and then I made this is a single ring. This is my three point star. That's going to go on top. So I'm going to have a housing. This is going to go on top. Underneath will go this one ring. Yes, the one ring to rule them all. No, no, no. It's just going to go on top. It's going to look like there's a ring in there. Because if I leave, if I put this on here just like it is, it, uh, it will, uh, if I leave that just like it is, um, there won't be a grill on it. And believe me, I have tried everything. I have got this super fine grill. But I already checked. This super fine modeler's grill. If I put this on top of one of those rings, you won't see the fan at all. Unfortunately, it just is. So here's, here's where I'm stuck. Well, I'm not stuck. I'm done now. I've already committed to doing this. Three-point star gets glued down on top and trimmed. This ring goes underneath it. That's not the ring. This is the ring. This ring is so fine that I can't even pick it up. Okay, this ring is going to go underneath that. And then I'm going to put on a tiny piece of acrylic that I have in my crumb tray from the laser. From cutting all those screw holes for the uh, Colossus project. I'm going to put a tiny little thing in there, just like I did on these. And I'm going to glue the fan to that. Then, when you're looking down on it, you should be able to at least see the fan. And that's what i got to go for. i got to commit to it um, seven hours. That's a day's work right there. We are going to have to put in an extra day's work to get this done. So today is an extra day. I, I put this out here. Because here's my other problem. I have a lot of these. These are flared fans for GP20s. I've already determined from the prototype that uh, you can use a flared fan in all three spots for this size fan. I've got pictures before and after of a GP20 that went into the Dakota, Missouri Valley and Western shop. When it came out, this flared fan was on the dynamic break. When it went in, it was not. When it came out, it was. This fan is a Details West fan. Um, as good as it might be, the two photo etched fans I also have are way better. So, right, and I, I'm out of time. Time's up. I hate to do it. It might not look right. We're going to check it first. Um, but... There's our fan for the dynamic brake on the GP20, unless I can come up with something better. That fan has little to no relief compared to the photo edge fans. It's not that good. It might have to be that way. We'll see. But that's where we're at. We've got fans today. I'm going to get these fans knocked out. Now that I have completed this mission... The 36-inch fans will be made, and and we need to continue on. we got to get to it, because today is day 18. There are 12 days left. And I don't know if I've got all 12 of them days. Remember, i still got to do, what, three other contests i got to get stuff ready for. And uh, that shouldn't be so bad. They're not as tough. But I got three other contests. I got to get some stuff ready for. I need one day for that. So that's where we are.